Good morning. Welcome to our morning devotion. Glad you are tuned to the morning encounter. It is our prayer that you will encounter with God through this broadcast. And now, let's welcome the servant of God. Uh, good morning once again, viewers. Yesterday, we looked at dealing with with self deception i want to continue this morning once again on dealing with another issue and what i want to look at is dealing with the traditions dealing with the traditions is what i want to look at again i will be reading from the book of matthew i'm the reverend elpas bire greeting from eldoret as you wake up this morning i want us to share from the book of matthew chapter 15 verse 14 and the bible says this leave them they are blind guides if the blind lead the blind both will fall into a pit dealing with traditions jesus is addressing the pharisees the pharisees were the teachers of the law and they knew everything they knew what is right they knew what was wrong and here in this when jesus comes uh, he looks at the people that were accusing and even wondering why why Jesus was sitting with the sinners and why uh he would be the son of god sit with sinners and so he say these people have been blinded by tradition and sometimes we get blinded by tradition things that we consider as normal and norm as a family normal or norm as a church that we need just to wake up and keep time so we are rushing time at the extent that we are not looking whether we are singing quality songs we are rushing to be able to be in the office it's good to be on time in the office but now you forget that when i get in the church ali what do i supposed to do so they get the far and so jesus says deal with the tradition he tell the pharisees to leave um uh, the pharisees and the thing they were doing that were not pleasing because it has made them even to be very blind they can't see that jesus is looking at the people that are lost and he want to win them he want to make them valuable he is going an extra mile and say beloved even though people think that when i sit and eat with you i am considering myself and i'm risking myself even my status but it is a value of christ in so doing some of these traditions traditions are good but they can make and blindfold you they can blindfold you as an individual they can blindfold you as a church they can blindfold you as an organization but sad still is when the teacher of law is being told leave them these people are become blind they cannot see the thing that matter god is asking us to see value in people god is asking us to see value in the uh, in the those that are around us and we must deal with our traditions otherwise we will lead people astray and make them think that for you to feel valued is to go when the church is uh, in a big church or you to go in a church and sit in the front or to go to church and feel like you number one or think still to say that now because uh, i can't sing then I cannot be able to do it. a tradition that is followed later without Christ then can lead people astray. What am I trying to say? There are many of us that have done many habits uh things some of them are right some of them are not wrong because some traditions are very neutral they are those that actually uh against God's word but God is inviting us this morning as you get to work this morning as you work for your children look at the value addition where are the value of my people where do they really esteem his word do they esteem what is of greater importance if i woke up maybe and served my juniors again again as a tradition of i being a boss and served them uh, what will be the impact it will be a great impact people will see love in you if you wake up in the morning and one of the days you think like your house girl uh uh did not deserve rest but you do something just to be able to evangelize to them you go against the norm and the tradition you save many people god is asking us to deal with tradition the tradition of where some of us had no we church uh i was really surprised that uh the pentecostalism is rising up even in those churches we think that there are no pentecostals and you know them 
in God will be inviting some of us to go there and intercede and pray and say, God, may we have revival in this particular denomination. God is breaking tradition. And us, because we are followers of Christ, may we follow his heart and do what is right as we get into the morning. Some of us, as we go to work, some of us, as we look at whatever we do every day, I want you to change and deal with traditions. There are some of us that have been able to condemn people forever. God is asking you to deal with traditions. Traditions in your life, traditions in your organization. And you will be blessed. You will become a mentor. You will become a person that will go against the norm, but be able to inspire people and go near to people that they may see Christ in you. And the Lord bless you. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. Father, we honor you once again and pray that we may evaluate our traditions. Sometimes our talk, sometimes our walk, sometimes the things we have considered as a norm as a church. We wake up and we think this is the order how the church needs to run and sometimes we've neglected things that matter. Going against extra mile and being able to reach out even to those people we consider that they are sinners of God. We give you praise, we give you honor, and may you bless us as we get into the day. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. That was the morning encounter. We are glad that you tuned in. Follow us on YouTube at Sidham Eldoran TV. Our Facebook page is Sidham Eldoran. Our Twitter and Instagram handles at Sidham Eldoran. And our website is, eldorit.sidham.org. Let's encounter again tomorrow morning, same time, same place.